Hi friends. As I'm filming this, it was the first day of fall officially yesterday, so happy fall everyone. It is in fact the most wonderful time of the year, but I'm feeling like celebrating fall, so today we're gonna do a little Halloween casual look, a fall leaf motif, a leaf motif if you will. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do something a la Pontberry and maybe try to paint some little freckles on our face in the shape of little falling leaves. For this one, I really wanted to try the last liquid lipstick from the Black Moon Cosmetics Autumn Trio that we haven't used yet on the channel. It's in the shade Harvest, which is very appropriate, but I thought a falling leaf theme would go really well with this color. So that's what we're gonna try to execute today. I don't know how successful I'm going to be, uh, I'm not a person who does a lot of detail work in their makeup when it comes to actually drawing things on my face. We'll see how it goes, but if you want to know how this turns out, then please keep on watching. And let's just get started. By the way, pumpkin cream cold brew. I feel like it's for those people who want a pumpkin spice latte, but also don't want to be caught with a pumpkin spice latte. Drink that pumpkin spice latte, like live your life. Also my earrings are very jangly. I'm just gonna say it's uh, adding to the ambiance of the, of the video, but they just, they go so perfectly with this look. I can't take them off. I figure we should just do a quick eyeshadow look, slap that on before going into the rest of the face, just in case we don't have time for it. I thought the Arcana palette would be perfect for this look. Let's just swash that lipstick real quick quick. It's a lot darker on the hand than it is in the tube, but I thought the shade Alter would go really well with this. Ooh, we could use the Meadow palette. That actually, that might work. Oh yeah, that's dead on. So yeah, this is one of those looks that I'm not 100% confident in myself to be able to execute it properly, but I think it'll be fun to try. Let us start with some... All right, let's just start right away with Alter and just fluff it pretty much everywhere. I think this eyeshadow is also going to just go directly onto my cheeks. I always love busting out the Arcana palette when I have the chance. I think it's stunning. I love the color story, the shades, and I think Alter is one of my favorite shades in the palette for sure. So I'm just taking that into the crease, really fluffing it into the inner third near the front of the brow. Again, nothing too fancy because I want to focus mostly on the cheeks today. Let's take a little bit of Entity and blend that out on the edges. I'm gonna deepen up the crease with a little bit of Dusk from the Makeup Addiction Cosmetics Meadow Palette. All right, let's take that same color directly under the lash line. And then back into Alter to start bringing this down the cheek. I'm just slowly stippling that on and blending it outward. And I think I'll also tap that onto the bridge of the nose. I did like that little pop of yellow on the brow, so I'm just gonna do a little bit more entity. Now I need to figure out what to do on the lid, because familiar is going to be too dark. Actually, familiar isn't that dark. I thought it was a lot darker. So actually, let's grab familiar and just see what happens. I mean, that's pretty. I want it to be brighter though. So let's actually take a bit of Moonstone from the So Jaded palette and see if we can brighten up this inner portion. Just going back into Dusk from the Meadow palette a little bit on the edges just to darken them up just a bit. Okay, I'm gonna do all that on the other side and then when we come back, we will start attempting to paint some leaves on our face. Other side is done, lashes are on. These are Delicate from Likely Makeup. I haven't worn them in a minute and I really thought something wispy and PC would be good for this look. I ended up throwing a 
tiny bit of chalice, which is that gold metallic, onto the center of the lid, just to eke out a bit more warmth in the tonal quality of the shimmer. And I also emphasized the yellow a little bit on the brow bone as well. I think the look just needed a bit more variety in tone, so I just threw that in there. Okay, so I wanted to do a couple of leaves. So I figured the alcohol activated paints would be a good tool for this. They'll probably paint on top of powder pretty easily. And I like these colors too. I feel like I can blend these tones together to create uh, an appropriate shade for this look. So this is my little liner brush that I got at Michael's. So I'm thinking these two colors together with a little bit of that dark brown would probably work really well. I've got my little spray bottle of 99% alcohol, which is the only alcohol you should use to activate this paint. So I'll just do a little spray in each of those shades. All right, I should have tested this on another part of my body first, but I think I just want to go for it and just see what happens when I draw something. So I'm going to try drawing a happy little leaf. That's cute. I guess that could be a little maple leaf and a couple of dots here and there. Oh, that's really cute, I like that. Let me zoom you in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. Now I think I actually want to incorporate a little bit of this green color. So I think I might actually give the maple leaves green little veins. No, it's pretty, but it makes it look even more like it's a big old pop leaf. So actually I'm just going to double down on that brown. So I do want a little bit of that green still in the design. So I think I might actually just put a couple of green freckles here and there. And then let's just do a couple of lighter brown freckles as well, just to add some variance. To add a, just a titch more yellow into the mix, I'm going to dip into Carnival from the Clown Blush palette and just lightly fill in these little leaves. I think I'm just gonna throw a little bit of Carnival Blush on the top here. Ooh, I forgot to blush my chin. Can't have that. We're almost done here. Real quick, I'm just going to line my lips. And that was probably a useless step because I'm probably just going to paint over it anyway. All right, let's try out Harvest. I mean, that's... It's really pretty. It's a little bit redder than what I thought it was going to be, but I like it. All right, let's quickly line the water line. I think to balance things out a little bit more, I'm going to add a little bit more yellow to the brow bone. Let's take a bit more chalice onto the center of the lid. Okay, while I think about that some more, I'm gonna spray down. Oh my god, I totally forgot that I had the baby girl stack. Breakup would be such a good shade for this look. Like right in here. Ooh, and crush actually. I think I might actually pop that onto the lid right now. And then just bring chalice further in. Ooh, on the lower lash line, that's kind of a look. Also, you know what I totally forgot that I just bought and that I should have used in this because it would have been perfect is uh, actually something relevant and new. It's the new Rare Beauty Matte Liquid Blush. This would have been perfect. I'm going to quickly just pop into some of these for a little bit of nose highlight. 
might actually tap that onto the inner corner to warm it up. This look is such a mishmash, oh my God. I'm just gonna dip back into that gold shade just to emphasize that a bit more. It is getting real blustery outside and I am loving it. Bottom mascara, good Christ. All right, I guess this is the finished look. With looks like these, I never know when they're really done. I just kind of stop <laughs> myself because I don't want to go too far and, you know, make it a big mess. With looks like these, you can go from zero to too much really quickly. So I'm going to stop it here and um, be proud of myself. This isn't exactly what I was envisioning, but I really like the outcome. So I'm perfectly happy with it. It is very fall appropriate. The gold and the yellow wasn't in my original plan, but I feel like it really works, especially with the leaves just transitioning to yellow and not quite too orange or red yet. I always love pulling this palette out. It's just such a favorite of mine and it is perfect for the fall season, for the Halloween season, for the Christmas holiday season coming up. It's just a banger. So if you don't have it yet, I highly suggest it. Also, I always forget about the Melt Baby Girl stack, but there are some shades in here that are perfect for a fall look. Like Crush, it's that pinky brown metallic. It's just, it's absolutely stunning. And Breakup, which is the perfect crease shade for this look. And I feel like, hold please. To be fair, they did say that that was gonna happen. I think they're done. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, please let me know what you guys think. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like it when I veer more into the avant-garde lane or do you prefer me to stay in the more glam zone? That'd be interesting to know. But I feel appropriately autumnal and I am ready to get into the spirit of fall. All right, folks, let me rattle off the spiel to you. Here are the many ways you can help out my channel. You can give this video a huge thumbs up. You can comment down below what you thought of everything. You can subscribe. Any and all engagement is super helpful so I really appreciate those things. You can follow me on other social media. I will leave those right there. And as always you can click the Patreon link down below. I do have a series for patrons exclusively called Base Chats where I put on my base makeup and we chat about stuff. So if that is something that interests you please go check out the Patreon link down below. Not much else to say this week except for justice for Breonna Taylor. Those cops should be in prison. Also we are having a provincial election in BC so I will leave a link down below where you can sign up to do a mail in ballot for that for all of my BC residents. And I hope everyone just has a splendid fall. All right, everyone, please stay safe, stay sane, wash your hands, wear a mask, and above all else, just be kind and be generous. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.